you know, brought his. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. All right, he's. God, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy. God knows what. This is so not worth a fifteen percent commission. It is, does, does this hurt your eye, buddy? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I was waiting for him to, for. I was waiting for something to, to happen, like pointing that thing in his face. All right, well, pick up those batteries. Anything else over here? Switch lights off. Have fun at night, buddy. Alright, well, there's nothing else. Let's go. Later, buddy. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go head out to the dark. Later, let's go. Alright, have fun. Alright, let's. Yeah. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. <laughs> Alright, well. There's nothing in here. Can I take the car? Yes, I can. All right. The car he rented wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. God damn it! All right, whatever. I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Huh? What's inside this? Place. Can I go inside here? Let's go to someone's random house. It looks empty. Empty house. All right. Let's start stealing. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Doctor Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the piece of it it's no fun if i need to worry about what i'm catching you know well, considering your track record the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way <laughs> well pat that's kind of you to say all right well <sighs> all right i don't know what whatever I don't see the point in having that thing on. Oh, is that tiger gonna move by itself? Like a ghost? I knew it! I knew that thing was gonna move by itself. Anything over here? I guess I got to go all the way down there. It's gonna take a while. Can I push this? Ugh, what the hell? What the, what the fuck is going on? What the hell is that? I just push that. I push that thing, and then it goes all crazy. All right. Well, let's see what's in this house. 
or this cabin. Elder Wood Natural Trail, Moonshine Cave, Lover's Peak is that way, but let's see what's in here. Can I go inside here? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> I can go inside the cabin. Let's see what's inside here. Open it. Ooh. Okay. That's one way of opening it. <laughs> Watch TV. Another episode of Twilight Zone. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. Ah! <laughs> Oh god, that was, a, that was a good episode. All right, wow. There we go. All right, well, let's continue on, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> I just knocked that thing down. A phone. Who could I call? Barry? Nope. Huh? It's a hiking trail. I could go down this way. What is this? I'm crashed. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. I don't know if I should go this way or what's over here. Let's just go over here quickly and see if there's anything up this way. Do not wa do not feed the wildlife. A hundred dollar penalty for that. Oh, just for this. All right, whatever. Rose knew I'll take it. He was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Okay. All right, let's go back down. Whew. Oh, come on, Alan. You get tired so easily. Oh, come on. Fallen rock zone. 
What did that say? The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. What the hell's going on? What the hell is going on? Where's he at? Is he over there? Ah, oh, great. There you are, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming, Rusty. What the hell happened? Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> it looks like he's already dead. Whoever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. All right, let me turn on the light. Let's go turn on the light. I damn the only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. One thing did all this. Woo. What's in here? Manuscript. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved into darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Okay. It's in here. Open that up. Got some batteries and ammo. All right, well, I don't see nothing else in here. What's in this room? I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. God damn it. Oh, we're going back there. Oh, God. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, boy. 